Lesson 11.1D. This is in the Going Further section, Vocabulary and Understanding and Expression. We've learned that algebraic expressions contain terms which are separated by plus and minus signs. This tells us that a term is part of an expression that is added to or subtracted from another part of an expression. So here we have a plus sign and a plus sign, and we have one term, two terms, three terms. Here we just have one term. So an expression can just be one term. And notice that the plus sign goes with the term. For a real quick review, the sum is the result of adding two or more numbers. A difference is the result of subtracting one number from another. It's the answer in subtraction. A product is a result of multiplying two or more numbers. It's the answer in multiplication. A quotient is the result of dividing one number by another number. It's the answer in division. And a factor is a number multiplied by another number to get a product. So these are the factors. It's what we multiply together to get the product. Remember, a variable is a symbol or letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount an unknown quantity. A coefficient is the number directly to the left of the variable, and it's multiplied by the value of that variable. And coefficients can be integers and rational numbers. So this, too, is just a number without this variable next to it. Remember that integers are positive and negative whole numbers, and rational numbers can be written as fractions. For understanding an expression, an expression represents mathematical operations, add, subtract, multiply, divide, using signs and symbols. And expressions can also be written with words. We're going to do that in a few seconds. There is usually more than one way to describe an expression. Numerical expressions contain numbers. Algebraic expressions contain at least one variable. So I have several expressions written, and we can describe each expression with words. Here we have 2 plus 6. This is the sum of 2 and 6. Here we have 4 times 2 plus 6 in parentheses. This can be described as the product of 4 and the sum of 2 and 6. We can also say the sum of 2 and 6 multiplied by 4. This would be the product of the factors 7 and y. Here we have 7y divided by 3. We can describe this as the quotient of 7 times y and 3. And this is actually the same thing because this fraction bar means division, doesn't it? We have 7y divided by 3. It's the quotient of 7 times y and 3. and we can say the product of 7 and y divided by 3. For this one, we see the parentheses, so there's, we know there's multiplication involved, we know there's addition involved, and we know because of this fraction bar that division is involved, and here we have subtraction. This can be described as the quotient, because of the division, the quotient of the product of 2 and the sum of a and b all divided by the difference of 3 and 1. Here we see another fraction bar, so we know there's division involved. This is the sum, because we have an addition sign, the sum of the quotient of 8 and x and 9. We can also say the quotient of 8 and x added to 9. And here we have the difference of the terms n and 10. So, we finished this part of the lesson. We're going to go on to the last part of the lesson, writing a multi-step algebraic equation. I hope the vocabulary review was helpful, and as always, have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye!